what's up guys so this is a tutorial on how to make a remix out of song the first thing you want to do is go to youtube and uh, find a cover a cappella acoustic or uh, vocals only song or uh, so what i found was this So this is actually a cover but since the cover has a background melody which is a guitar i'm not gonna add any piano or any strings or anything because it's just gonna mess it up so if it has like one instrument in the background it's fine but then you don't want to create it you don't want to create a melodic pattern in the background as well it might mess up the track so just keep it like that if it's only vocals just a voice then of course you want to create a piano pattern or a guitar pattern or strings or whatever uh, what you want to avoid is creating a sample or a song that is like a full song with a beat you know like it has bass line it has kicks snares high heads and a lot of instruments in the background just avoid those kind of beats because or songs because it's just going to be hard and difficult to make a good remix out of it so you want to make something that only has vocals or vocals and just a guitar or a piano uh, yeah, so I'm starting with a build-up. So this is like the build-up before the drop. And then I have like some dusty sound as well. And then I have a bass that I just use automation and drag it down. So that's for the first drop. For the second drop, I just drag that 808 or bass up. And then I also had some layers where I used automation. So it feels like uh, a good build-up, you know, before the drop. And for the drop, what you want to do is you want to listen to the song and find out where you can insert the kicks. You want the kicks to be where the singer is or rapper is saying a word, like in the start of the world, word or in the start of a sentence. And then you can, of, of course, add some kicks, but make sure that the kicks are hitting where there are words being said you know uh, so you gotta like make a pattern go to your beat check does it match up and maybe you feel like oh the kick is hitting too late or too soon before he the singer is saying something then you want to just adjust the kicks and then you want to have like some different noises or sounds so I have this hitting like this, open hats hitting like this. It's the same pattern. It's like a pattern, you know, and the snare is just hitting every second bar. So since this song is like an R&B song, you want to, I want, I want to create a pattern that fitted into that song, you know, so I'm not going too fast with my bass line right now. I put a hi hats. So yeah, you want to add some rolls as well. Just press this button, 132, and you can add some rolls with the hi-hats. Uh, make sure like you have variation in it, you know. Do not keep it too simple. And then I have a second snare as well. That hits only sometimes. So you want to create, have some instrument that's not hitting too much, but coming in all of a sudden just to create a good variation of it for the 808 so i have three different 808 patterns that i'm basically using right now uh, and 
a lot of them are hitting one singular particular note and that is this one right here F uh, and then I'm just moving the other notes and then the last pattern And in the middle, I'm just having a kind of a break right here. So I'm starting with a crash, so it kind of gets a neutral from a heavy 808 to just nothing, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Let's listen to the song. One thing I forgot to mention is, uh, since it's a sample, it's not going to be starting from like one or four or what you maybe are used to. So if you want to change the pattern, you just hold Alt and you can change it like this to make it fit to the sample. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.